So why is it hard to be raw vegan? Top three. Emotional, physical. So why is it hard to be raw vegan? Why are people struggling, trying back and forth? I think one of the main reasons is their surroundings. You have to be in line with the true nature in order to actually eat a natural diet. And so it's difficult if you're in cities and then you're surrounded also with your social environment, your friends, your family, they don't understand it or they don't eat that way. And even in a place like this where we are focused on it, we're close to nature and people still struggle because their physical body is not clean yet. And so you have to really think about your goals. Do you have those goals? Do you want to eat raw? If it is the goal, what is it? Do you want to just live closer to nature? Do you want to eat a whole food, plant-based diet, primarily raw? Then it's not a big deal to eat some cooked uh, food once in a while. But I always tend to notice that Say this wing bean where I'm here in the trellis of the wing beans that were growing. Um, I cook them, but their energy changes, and so the the taste is much crisper, and juicier, and more alive. And this is not actually a good example. Let me find another one. And it do not feel bad to waste, you just throw it back and this is going back as compost. Let's see, maybe this is a better one. No, it's not a better one. So you just throw that back in nature, it's fine. There's a very young one, crisp, fresh, and that feels good, that tastes good. At first when I tried them I did not like them. I did not see the appeal. I knew that I wanted sweet fruits and a lot of it and mostly sweet fruits. But now I see that I'm happy with what's growing here, what grows well in this climate. We do have lots of sweet fruits. But we also have savory fruits. This is a vegetable. In technical terms it might be considered a fruit because it's a bean, it has seeds. This one is so young that it does not have seeds called wing bean or dragon bean comes from Asia and grows well in this climate. So I come here and I collect a bowl of it. Also have some chilies from the nearby bush there. And then I will have a salad or my simple deconstructed salad is just eating it as is. Maybe a bite of this and a bite of chili and a bite of something else and come to the Amazon Fruit Festival 2022 in January. These are the wing beans. They're leguminous nitrogen fixing plants. Often you will see these three leaf formation on beans and other nitrogen fixing plants. And they have these purple flowers, also pretty tasty. Now I'll add it to my salad. And then if you see once they fruit, then you can have this size. If they get bigger than that, then they are too tough. And then they go into their seed pod mode, and then we can use the seed to plant them. This one might be a bit old, but yeah, it's still soft, so we'll see. And the chilies in the back, and more wing beans. This is the tree lettuce, so you just pick the outer leaves, and it creeps growing. Still producing beautiful plant. It's got this one and there's a little one on the way. And this is the mulberry. Had a few ant attacks, but surviving and thriving. Thank you for not uh, dying. Yeah, you're alive, you're strong. Okay, cool. So, yeah, doing some weed whacking over there, a lot of grass, and we use that as mulch. Finally, get some good working done. Here's my lemongrass screened and 
cut the grass to or for mulching. Banana's doing good. Okay, my cucumber is still going. It's great. Very, very great. Got three really nice ones. I'm curious to see how this one is. Let it get pretty mature. It looks good. Beautiful. Enjoying the sunset, doing another time lapse. See how it goes. Spend the community building relationships with everybody, the locals, the workers, we want to make things right. Um, yeah, we want to share with them as well. But there's some limits. Yeah, we want to have more of the food for ourselves, but once we have a lot of it, then it's easy. Then we can have abundance. There's my row of ice cream bean. Back there, jackfruit. This one here, and more ice cream beans along for chop and drop. And here as well, all important ice cream bean. I love it. It's a very strong plant. It's got that intermittent leaf. Delicious fruit. It grows fast. Nitrogen fixing, and it's native. Good strong banana pretty steep here so I might have to be using sticks to hold them up but for now they're good I did my best to get them in deep and back there the sour sop is grafted and shooting up to the stars well the sun really of uh, coconut meat, and cucumber, tree tomato, avocado. So if there is one thing I could tell you about learning Spanish, one thing, download Google Translator and hit the offline, download offline dictionary for Google Translator and make sure you have the English one, usually it's already offline available and that's all you need. You can translate words, you can translate sentences if you are connected to the Wi-Fi or other form like internet you know, with the SIM card, then you can actually have the audio messaging and uh, audio voice sound. So you can hit the thing and you can hear how to pronounce it. And yeah, that's the one thing I would tell you on how to learn Spanish. And that's how I learned it, so you can do it too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> a long time for this guys we got the dump truck running and we got the Jeep for sale he's gonna buy it this is alive here my the wheel look at those tires a meter and a half in size <laughs> pretty sweet little uh machine. <laughs> Lots of space for gravel and crap. Then we want to haul chicken manure. So you're a foot here. There's a cockpit. It's noisy as fuck in here. And that is the motor of the heat. Scratchy, no mirror. 
a comfy seat, that's all that matters. Imagine if it's just one hand, because if I bring the other hand, then he has no chance. Mm. Mm, pretty good at not drawing blood, huh? Huh, Mr. Kitty?